want to see my videos in a higher quality then change your uh, video quality in your youtube to 720 or higher than that so that you can see the quality in a better thank you hi everyone welcome to another video in this video we will discuss how we can connect dynamics 365 entities and tables using postman postman is a free application that we can use to test our web apis if there is an open web api or uh, which requires some authentications then you can connect postman so that we can create some request web api request so that you can post that web request web api request to that server to get data for communication okay so let us see how we can use postman so you can download the postman from any site right and install in your application so this is my postman and this is my dynamics 365 right and uh, so this is my dynamics 365 environment and uh, this is postman now how we can connect right the first first thing first first you have to go to your active directory you have to go to your uh, home page of office 365 go to admin and when you go to admin you will see there is a option called as show all in the show all you will find a option azure active directory click on this azure active directory it will open the portal azure portal with active directory options and in the active directory option we have to click on this azure active directory here we have to register an application that can deal with web api url right so you have to click on this app registration and in the app registration click on new registration here you have to give a name let's say uh, web api postman right so i have given a web api postman and choose the supported account type let me choose multi-talent account in my in any of my organization directory and give a uh, website ad uh, give a written uri let's say http and you can give uh, local host right so once you given i am ready to register this right once you register you will see there is a application id generated for you so copy this application id and go to a notepad and keep it here inside client id so this client id or this app app id will be required for me later on and what is the callback uri url we have given we have to copy here so the callback uri is this one okay you can copy this or i have written like this right so http slash localhost right so this is my callback url and this is client id and this is also required to authorize your environment right i will tell you in later on but this web api registration uh, should be done in some more steps you have to go to api permission first you have to go to manifest because we have to enable some flags here you will find there is a flag called as uh, allow public client you have to make it true by default it is null but you have to make it true then another oauth permission implicit allow implicit flow it should make it true okay and you have to save it once you save it you have to provide api permissions to this application go to api permission click on add a permission and here you have to here you have to select dynamic crm and click on this user impersonation click add permission here you have to click on grant admin access for sub chief right click on yes so this is my login uh, credential that's why it is asking to grant permission now successfully granted admin consent now you are ready to use this application id in web apis or in postman right now next once it is done next go back to the postman here we have to do a lot of thing right so before that you have to copy the url that dynamics 365 is having in your environment right from where you can copy this you have to go here you have to go to your dynamics url and you can see up to this dot com this will be your url of dynamics 365 copy this and put it inside resource equal to query string okay and keep everything 
as it is because this auth url is required to take to uh, um, to get the authentication token for web api integrations right so this is required this is dynamic for uh, for every user and this is also uh, changes for every application id so we will use this so now open postman here you have to create a new collection right create a request and in this request we have to first analyze the authorization click on the authorization okay here you have to choose the authorization now why authorization because if you directly uh, test using get and if you use your url you you will get nothing if you use this url and click on send you will see that it is not authorized it will give you right it will go give you just url but we have to use the old data url the url is nothing but the url that we use here if you go to the developer resource area advanced setting customization you will get the old data url so copy this url go to here and hit it in the url section now try to send now if you send you will see this is saying 401 unauthorized because we should get the authentication token to communicate with this o data url for your organization so to do that you have to use a authorization token choose the type as oauth 2.0 and here we have to mention some token information okay I have to write down a token name let's say D365 token okay and uh, choose the grant type as implicit and here you have to mention the callback request the callback request I have given is this one localhost I can copy this paste here and in the auth URL I have to uh, paste my auth URL that I have created so this is my auth URL which is equal for everyone same for everyone but except this uh, dynamics url so use your url instead of my url copy this okay now i will go back and paste here now this is the client id which is required so i have already copied the client id or the application id from azure uh, active directory i will paste it here now once it is pasted you can click on get new access token what it will do it will try to connect to your environment and try to uh, get an access token so click on the login information and use your password to login now once it is authenticated it will give you authentication completed now it will tell us yes the authentication token is received this is the authentication token access token now we can use it click on use token now the token is applied now i can communicate with this o data endpoint or service to communicate with web api request i will go to now so if i will send directly click on send you can see you get some request can you see that this is the request you are getting this is the response you are getting although it, it is not readable you get some information because the status is 200 okay right now i want to add some i want to send some uh, i want to get some data right then i can just write down here accounts to get data i can go here and use accounts click send now see all accounts are retrieved these are all accounts so this web api is retrieving all account informations to me right in o data right this is my first account and this second account right if you if you uh, use this in uh, any uh, o, any json uh, viewer then you can understand let me copy this and let me go back to json viewer if you put that response in a json viewer it will give you the whole idea here right now if you click on viewer you will see that values so this is my account number one right all data items you can see here name is there okay so this returns 
98 records right here you can find name so the point here is using this uh, postman get option i can get all accounts now i want to create a an account so if you see this page of microsoft how to create web api requests or tables this web api uh, request is given here right so let this line of code creates a, an account um, with this information so let me create this let me copy this and go to your postman and change the request type as post because i want to create an account and uh, here go to the body and go to raw and paste your data i want to change let's say ms account info right i want to create an account with name ms account info right with all these details information right now to do that we have to add more information like you can see the url should be data v point v point 9.0 or 9.2 whatever for me it is 9.2 you can see here this has been copied from uh, this site okay in e your uh, customization area so and the at last it is required to have the entity plural name so i have given entity plural name here accounts i have given the data item uh, request object to uh, define the account uh, record then you have to go to the authentication or header in the header you have to add a, a content type you can see here the content type is application json so copy this content type paste here and in the value just type down application slash json once it is done you have to now click on send so we have configured the body uh, with our data and we have created a header content type application json and we have identified the url to which we are posting data then i can send it so click on send now this time it will create this account in my organization can you see that the status is 204 no content now it is success now i will go to my dynamics to check if the account is created or not i'll go to the account and i can check yes this one ms account info now this is the account that i have created from web api right now this is how we can get data or create data through postman and through web apis right connecting to my dynamics now if you want to get a specific account information then you have to use o data formats right so if you want to get some more data like from accounts you want to read something so you want to use filter right o data filters so let us go here and uh, get some data retrieve with predefined queries you want to retrieve uh, let me use something here right okay if you want to also use fetch xml you can you can uh, identify here right this is the url and you want to use fetch xml right then you can just copy this so this is a fetch xml i can copy this and go to here and paste here so this is i have added fetch xml now click on send now it will try to execute the fetch xml and it will return data so let me copy this and i can go here to use json viewer now i can put my json here so value is 100 and every time you see here let me go to the uh, first json viewer option this one right so this is the value we have many records now you can see account id and name because the fetch xml we are returning is account id and names you can see here this is the fetch xml if you go to the microsoft also the fetch xml is this one you are returning account id name and account number right so you can also use this fetch xml in a uh, request uh, url from your postman okay and also you can use o data also without using this uh, uh, STM uh, use, without using this fetch XML, you can use also O data if you using uh, some uh, queries. For example, if you go here, uh, 
uh, you want to read something yes so here you want to read something like this using select okay I want to only read names right so I can go here and filter it by names select name click send now it will return only names so it is saying that some uh, the query parameter select is not supported that means select you have done something wrong here so uh, delete one question mark click on send now it will return all data items right account id is this their name is this so you can see name account id is returning right so you can keep adding more fields that you want to read okay you can also use filters or data filters to use right like this okay let's say you want to only read that um, account names whose name equal to ms info just i am copying this name and i am writing down here right click on send you will get only one record right so this is so the expand expression something wrong here let me go back here on name and filter name equal to this uh, term name account info is not valid expression okay some error is there but uh, we can also do it uh, let me blank this i will only use filter let us see it is fine right so it is now returning where the uh, 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 name of the account is ms info so i can click on raw data or preview you can see only one record is there whose name is ms account info right and if you go to this json viewer also you can see only one record is returning right only one record and for that record whose account name is ms info um, ms account info you can check here name where is the name uh, we have to find out here just control f you can find out here this is the name right so this is the account, ms account info. so uh, the point here is we have connected postman with dynamics 365 through access token and through authorizations you understand this authorization properly and the header information to use content type application json and when we want to send some request we have to send the raw information in the body okay we can also update you can use get post put patch delete everything we can do right so you can uh, analyze that uh, methods here you can also use some functions okay so like that you can connect postman to dynamics 365 okay so if you have any queries you can uh, comment me on this video so thank you guys i hope this will help you uh, in testing your dynamics 365 data and sending your uh, uh, web api calls from postman to dynamics so it's not required to log in every time dynamics rather you can test it from you can send web api request from postman and you can use it sometimes if uh, you want to store your authorizations in in environment variables you can create new environments here and uh, uh, then you can use it okay so thank you guys cheers if you have not subscribed subscribe this because i am creating some technical videos for developers every day and also if you want to join in membership join thank you cheers bye